All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee. You're going to look at a uh, four pill uh, standard HG2879 for a customer uh, CM. Uh, that's how they wish to be addressed in the video. So uh, that's, uh, that's all I'll say. I'll leave it at that. But uh, it was purchased over the weekend. And I'm uh, just going to test it as we always do uh, before any amp leaves out. Uh, going to test it, <clears throat> make sure everything's good with it. Going to try a couple different. Uh, methods on this thing uh, because the radio that they're going to be using um, I think they're going to be running about an 8 or 10 watt day key and swinging 40 or 50 watts um, which isn't going to be enough to push this thing to full output power as far as the uh, the, the peak forward swing uh, they'll probably get a decent carrier out of it um, but anyway the reason I'm going to have to do a couple different tests is my Connex it swings about 50 PEP uh, 15 to 20 watts average, um, but it does not key uh, 8 or 10 watts. Now, my Uniden, I can roll it up to 7 or 8, but it won't swing what the Connex does. So what we're going to do, test it with the Connex first, um, and then we will uh, hook the Uniden up and hook a small amp up to drive this thing with and uh, see our full output uh, potential. Now, whether he runs it that way, full potential or not, will be up to him, but we will test it to uh, full output before it leaves here. So that being said, uh, going through the amp, uh, let's see what our radio is putting out. So we're on high power. That's a 50 watt slug, so that's right at three watts, about two and three quarter watts. Just for reference on low power, about a watt and a half. So we'll probably just run it on high. Hello, oh, yeah, it's showing about 16 watts average going through the amp. Hello, audio, 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 and showing about 45 PEP. Now this radio, uh, not going through the amp, it would show a little more. You know, 50 PEP and uh, probably around 20 watts average. Now that's not to say there's anything wrong with the input and output of the amp, or the input side I should say. We'll show that here in a second. I don't normally do it for every amp, but uh, I will hook the analyzer up to the, uh, to the input and demonstrate that here in a second. But uh, for right now, let's go ahead and turn the amplifier on. Uh, let's see, supply says 14.7, realistically about 14.6. Uh, that'll be fine. I recommend 14.5, but a tenth of a volt isn't going to uh, make or break us. So if a tenth of a volt was going to mess this thing up, I wouldn't want it to go to the customer anyway. So we're not really worried about that. Um, let's key it up on the 100 watt or the 50 watt slug and see how much it's keying with uh, two and a half, three watts going in. Okay, so it keys, uh, what was that, 30 watts? So right at 30 watts, um, carrier with that uh, three watts going in. So it's, it's doing what, about 10 times what we put into it? It's always a good sign. Every amplifier is a little different. Uh, depends on the gain of the transistors. Some of them, Depends on a lot of things. The gain of the transistors is one. Some some of these amps respond better to different amounts of drive. Some of them, they need a little more drive to get up and go. Some of them don't take much. So this one's showing, uh, you know, we're putting 3 watts in it and we're getting uh, 30 watts out. So that, that's a good sign. Uh, see how much it's drawing with this radio kicking into it. Hello. Well, it's drawing more than 40 amps, I can tell you that. 17 amps on a carrier. Hello. 45 amps on the audio. Let's go over here to the watt meter. Uh, bottom scale, 1,000 watt slug. Hello. Audio. 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 240 watts average. And uh, now we'll show PEP. Hello, audio, audio, audio. So this is a pretty styled amp, uh, 600 watts PEP. 
audio test, uh, just with this 50 watt radio hitting it, audio test, audio test, audio test, audio test, audio test, audio test, audio test. I shouldn't have to say this, but I will. Your results can vary if you have a different kind of watt meter. Uh, I use a brand new Bird 43P. It was purchased new by me about four or five years ago. But, uh, you know, if you have a dosimeter meter and you get it and it says 400 watts, I wouldn't be surprised. If your dosimeter meter says 700 watts, I wouldn't be surprised because uh, there's not a lot of consistency there. Same thing with the MFJ or whatever. I just got to throw that out there every now and again because I do occasionally have people buy stuff and they get it and they say, well, it showed 500 at your place. It's showing 600 here or, you know, the opposite. They'll say it showed 500 at your place and it showed 400 here. So you got a little bit of leeway with watt meters. Uh, they're not all going to show exactly the same. You run a Bird 43P, uh, you should be very close to what I'm seeing here. Okay, so that's the numbers we're seeing out of it. 600 PEP, about 240 average. We are under driving it a little bit. Uh, but that being said, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to break out the analyzer, and that's going to show you the input side of it, uh, what people would call the bypass tune. Uh, and show you that it's got a nice little uh, tune there, so shouldn't be throwing a, a lot of uh, SWR back to your radio. So give me a second, and I will uh, pause it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so looking back, here's the analyzer. Uh, obviously, you know, 1.18 or 1 to 1.8, I guess you would call it. So basically, uh, what people would call a, a 1.1 SWR. Uh, everything looks good there. Uh, dummy load isn't a flat one zero. It's actually like a one zero eight or something. The dummy load I use. So very little change uh, going through the amp. So that's always a good sign. There's the uh, coax coming from the watt meter uh, into the back of the amp into the uh, analyzer. So just want to show that off here. Uh, I have seen a lot worse. A lot of times you'll get like a Texas Star or something, and you'll have like a uh, thirty six ohms over here. SWR will be like a 1.5, or you'll have like 60 something ohms. SWRs, you know, 1.5, 1.6. It's because they don't pay attention to the bypass tune on it. So this one's very good, uh, what I would consider very good. Uh, still in that range that you want to be in, uh, you know, a 1.0 to a 1.3, and this is a 1.1. So that's a, that's a good thing. All right, so now what I'm going to do, uh, excuse me, what I'm going to do is unhook this radio. Hook up the unit in and a uh, two-pill driver, and uh, we'll go from there and uh, see how it does. All right, guys, be right back. Okay, here we are. We're uh, back again, and if you've watched my videos a while, you've probably seen this little guy before. Uh, two-pill 1446. Uh, not the strongest little amp, but does a little bit over 200 on high and does around 150, 160 on low. I recommend about 150, 140 watts peak going into one of these standard four pills uh, some people run more but uh, that's about what we're going to be putting into it and uh, let's see if I could check how much we're going to be keying into it let's go ahead and do that let's see 50 watt slug just for reference here turn our peak kit off uh, amp's been running a second, so it's nice and cool. We'll go ahead and turn it off real quick. Okay, that's about a 7-watt day key. Oh, swinging over 50 average. So, 7 watts dead key is what we're going to be uh, putting into it, just for reference. Put our 1,000-watt slug back in. Turn the uh, four pill back on. And that gives us about 110, 120 watt dead key. So uh, seven watts in, uh, getting us a little bit over 100 out. Again, that can vary. Uh, everybody's radio system is different, so I can't guarantee it's gonna be that way, but that's gonna be the ballpark. Uh, probably somewhere between 7 and 11 watts is going to get you over 100 watts out of it. So we're going to roll with it right there. Let's see what kind of current we're going to draw here. Now keep in mind, this is the little driver amp and the four pill on the same power supply. Hello. So 70 amps. Come over here. Let's show uh, average power looking at the bottom scale. 
Hello. Audio. So 400 watts average. And uh, now we'll go to PEP. So hello, audio test, one, two, three, PEP, radio check, radio check, radio check, audio check, one, two, three, audio check, one, two, three, audio check, one, two, three, audio, audio. Just below uh, 900 watts, which is about what we've come to expect out of these uh, four pill standards. Again, some people put 200 watts into them because they want to see that 1,000 watt mark. Uh, Four pill standard, I, I really just recommend 150 watts PEP or less. Um, and that's, that's, that's what I recommend putting into it. So we're putting a little bit more than 150 into it right now with this little guy, but uh, obviously it's taking the pressure there. It's uh, not having any problems and, and we're just briefly testing it. So I wouldn't expect it to have any problems. Uh, but that's it guys, uh, Fat Boy Products, four pill standard, 2879. I really want to thoroughly test it for this customer because he had a ton of questions. Um, so hopefully the uh, the video addresses any questions he had. Generally, I don't do a video this long testing the amplifier, but when I'm dealing with a customer, uh, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but when a customer has a ton of questions, uh, it's best to address those questions before the product ever leaves ever leaves here, uh, because when it gets there and they got a lot of questions you know, uh, or they wait till it gets there and has a lot of questions, you know, things can turn upside down. So I want to make sure that everything has been addressed before the, uh, before the amp leaves here. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. It is a Monday. Lots of packages going out today. Uh, if you haven't received a tracking number from me, be looking at your phone. Uh, if you placed an order the last couple days, uh, if it's here, you'll be uh, more than likely getting a tracking number tonight. So, uh, everybody have a good one out there. I appreciate everybody. And uh, Rooster here in Tennessee, we'll catch you later. Y'all have a good one. See you, bye.